Hold in one center. Yes, sir. Uh, I would miss if I had to look at Barkley's fist. Just saying, Aaron Ornelas, that's yeah. your name? Yes, Hey, it. listen, Biggie. Uh, Biggie Aaron. That's hey. actual size, by the way. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 don't hate on the money the massive maker. Massive money maker. Hey. This and, pay uh, bills, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, what it's it the do, American Chuck? Express. It pay bills. <laughs> American Express halftime report here from Studio J. I'm gonna use that with yeah, Chuck. Hey, on, uh, <laughs> the money paper. The money maker pay Sager bills. Night tonight. Is, yes, sir. The Craig Sager night. And, and we're uh, trying to do shout out again to all. Hey, trying to be unique. Shout in our out fashion. to uh, Sager man. We missed you so no much. No doubt, man. No doubt. His family. No doubt. And like the coaches and uh, who have. Uh, Dressed uh, in Sager style you know, tonight. Announcers on ESPN will be doing it tomorrow as well. You know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Sager. I told that story. Yeah. Uh, we, had, we used to have the same office. Yeah. And I got a call to uh, join an NBA team. And he stopped me and he said, What are you doing? He's like, Oh, you're thinking about it. He's like, You could actually make this a career. And he started going through numbers and started going. In, and I said, And I had never thought of it that I was good enough to do that. And he was the guy who said, oh, it can make a career. And that day, I called back the team and said, no, I'm done. I'm going to be here with TNT, and I'm going to make it a career. Well, I'm probably saying you probably saw you play after you left. Yeah, no, I wasn't playing. Uh, to, no, was no, coach, after you left for Kim Elijah one, he was officially well. retired. Yeah, but I want to give a shout-out to my two girls again, Shelly Smith and Holly Rowe and Stuart Scott. We miss you, my brother. Yeah. Uh, I make a joke out of everything. I say. American Express. Uh, first of all, I've been pissed you've been working here. <laughs> 20 <laughs> years, brother. <laughs> I was here before you. Hey, listen, I can't wait to get the 20. I get I'm the little, one who co signed hey, hey, you. I can't wait to get my 20 year gift. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> How about uh, Avery Bradley leading them with wow. 16 in the first half? Uh, the rookie, Shea Gilgis Alexander's got 14. And their leading scorer, Tobias Harris, who comes in averaging 21 a night, has 11 in the first half. You got your eye on that Clipper backcourt. Yeah, uh, Doc, we don't really have a lot of stars. You know, all these guys are playing hard, especially, I don't want to mispronounce the name, Shea, Gilgis, Gilgis Alexander, and my main man, Avery, Avery Bradley. Roll the tape. You know, they're just playing hard. You know, Doc Avery Oof. played for Doc in Boston. Uh, you know, he was my rookie. I always listen, I always follow Rondo and Paul and Ray and those guys. And right now, he's playing with a lot of confidence, shooting the ball well. And, you know, this kid right here, Shea Gilgis Alexander, uh, was with Kentucky last year having a fabulous game. And when you don't have a lot of superstars on your team and everybody's asked to play hard and everybody mm. gets to eat, Kenny, yes. I think this is the result you get, especially when you have a great coach like Doc Rivers. Everybody's eating. They don't really have a guy that hogs the ball, and they're playing well. But me and Chuck pose the same question. How far can you get with no talent just by playing hard? No talent. Gonna, they, best, talent. Best record in the West, hey. 14 and 6 you know going I mean, into this. Kenny, no. Not going to make the playoffs. Yeah, the number one in the that's West up right on, now. It's up on and the wall. not make the playoffs. not, because... Reggie said it, Shaqter said it, they play really hard. I love Harold. I love Tobias Harris. Love Lou Williams. Love Gallinari. You love... Well, no, no, I, I stopped. Okay. Just can't keep going. <laughs> uh, and I just don't think they have enough firepower. Uh, I, I would say that playing hard in today's NBA game is 47 wins. Just uh, playing hard. And then you have stars and you have other talent around it because... The one, the one of the most underrated talents in, in the NBA is playing hard. You know, Stop are... stealing my line. I said it all the time. Doug Collins, I use his line. I stole it from Doug Collins. Well, it's not your line if you stole it. But well, anyway. <laughs> are you okay over there? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I hate when you steal my I'm not stealing your stuff. It's, it's <laughs> underrated talent. I got a question for you. Kevin Durant said this about a player. And I want you to tell me which player he's talking about. Put the ball in his hand, he will... Change your franchise. Aaron Fox. Ding, 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 ding. Shaq. Correct on uh, on De'Aaron Fox. You like what you see of this kid? I mean, he's, I, I, I love he's full I, bore ba uh, wall to wall. Yeah, yeah. but the, he's got to learn to drive the speed limit sometimes. Sometimes you're not on the Autobahn. Like, playing fast doesn't really mean... I, I, I forget, I think the great John Wood says... Play fast, but don't play quick. No, play and fast, but don't hurry. Don't, yeah, something like that. Yeah, you're okay. going to steal the line. Right? Yeah, but I tell you what, I love this team. I don't know. I don't know what's go. I don't know what's going on with the coaching staff and between the general manager. Just be patient. They got a bright future. Yeah. Uh, I love what they're doing. Like Ernie, we get so impatient. Like they ain't made the playoffs in a hundred years. They're not going to be in the finals. Just keep getting better. You know, they got a bunch of young talent. 
Just be patient. Yeah, I like patient. what they're doing in Sacramento. Yeah, you got to be patient and you got to build together. I think the one thing that you, and you have to figure out what that is, firstly. But overall, with De'Aaron De Fox, to be a great, be an NBA guard, first there, let's talk that. You have to be at top 10 at something. You know, you're either going to have to be a top 10 shooter, top 10 passer, top 10 in speed, athleticism, one, one thing. But what he is going to have to, will, to be a top 10 player at his position will separate him and make the Sacramento Kings better. But he has to be a better understanding of when to... And, 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 and Lenny Wilkins said this to me yeah. once. You're not fast if you're going at a... There's so many guys. Uh, I'm no, just saying. Ernie, is, is, are these guys made Doug the game Collins. what it is? They made, no, but listen. I know. I know. But he, he said, if you, if you go 100 miles an hour, you're not fast. You got to go 40, then 70, then 100. Like, that makes you fast. And change it, the change of speed and that is what will good job, hey, good job, brother. Yes, the sir. last time, like that. anytime we get Leonard Watkins, hey, Leonard Wilkins in here. 2006. Not going 100. Not going fast.